Hello! Today I'm going to show you how I do uh, my ribbon binding. It's like the one, I've just recently finished this book here and I've, I've done this ribbon binding. Um, it looks like that on the inside. It's really straightforward um, but I'm at the stage with this book that I'm about to finish uh, where I can show you how how I do it. So. Um, I won't rabbit for ages today, I'll just get on and fast forward through the process. I'm using my, um, yeah, I can't think what I call it, the uh, template that I usually use when I'm binding my books so that I can see where the holes are. I'm just going to line that up with my spine and just draw a very Faint line. If I can find a pencil. And then I'm going to make four equal measurements along that line, and that's where my little um, eyelets are going to go. Okay, so I've already got two of my signatures in now with the ribbon. I'm on to my third. I've just got four signatures in this book. They've got quite a lot of pages in each signature. So I'm just... I made... These are uh, one-eighth of an inch holes that I made with my um, Big Bite. So... You could probably try and thread it through with a needle if you want. I've tried it and I find it quite difficult to get everything through the hole with a needle, so I just literally fiddle about and push it through with my hands. Crikey, can you hear that rain? I don't know if you're picking it up on the microphone, but it's really hammering down outside today. Winter is here with a vengeance. Okay, and I, although I'd already gone through with my um, pokey tool, I um, went over the the holes with the one eight eighth of an inch um, setting on the big bite, just so that it's easier to thread your ribbons through. in now. So all of our signatures are all in. Now we've got to secure them. And I like them to be really tight so I'll pull the ribbon down ways or down and up, you know, pull it against it. I don't pull it this way, pull it down the spine um, each way 
just to make sure you've got it nice and tight. If, I, if you open it up and watch it inside, you can sort of see it's nice and tight inside as well. So that's kind of the key, just make sure you've got it as nice, nice and tight as you can. Once you're happy with how tight you've got that pulled, Obviously, without breaking your ribbon, because you don't want to do that. You shouldn't break that, it's a pretty strong ribbon. Now, I'm going to tie my knots. I'm going to do four individual knots, first of all, and I want the knot to be in line with where my closure is. So, I don't know how well you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm just literally going to pull it as tight as I can possibly get it. Tying a knot would be easy, wouldn't you? Right, I think that's as tight as I can get it. And then I'm just keeping my thumb on where the knot is to keep it nice and secure. And I'm trying to do as much wrapping around without taking my thumb off. I'm just pulling and pulling. Keep pulling that tight until Tight. And do that four times until you've got all of them tied. Right, I've got all four of my bindings in now and the knots are tied. <clears throat> so the last little thing I'm going to do before I tie the big bow is pop a little bit of fabric glue on each knot just to make sure it stays put because this is double sided, double face satin ribbon and it tends to want to come undone. So if you want to leave your um, binding flexible so you can undo it and you might want to add in other pages at other times then don't bother doing this last stage with the glue. <coughs> but I tend to um, do this because I'm usually doing this as a commission for a customer or as a present for somebody I want it to stay put so just pop this little bit of glue in and I'm going to slip a little bit of um, uh, plastic underneath just so that this, the ribbon doesn't glue to the to the spine okay so all of my knots are now dry my ribbons down. I'm just the last stage of this kind of binding now is just to tie a nice neat bow <coughs> with all of the ribbon that's coming out the back. And all I've done now is I've just trimmed those ends and burnished them with the uh, lighter and that's all done. That's a book all ready to go so just pop, pull that through. That's my 